Hey everybody, welcome to Fabulous Living with Angela Jones. I am so glad you're here with me today because I have a very special show in honor of Black History Month. As you know, February is Black History Month and as I shared during my first show that I was going to be doing things throughout the month to celebrate uh, this auspicious occasion. Although, every month is Black History Month for your girl. But, you know, I love that meme that says, but in Black History Month, I'm blackity black. And I am. So, <laughs> so we're going to celebrate all things uh, Black-owned businesses today. Black-owned businesses are so integral to our community. Um, I think about when my mom has shared stories with me. My parents are from the Deep South. My parents are from Alabama. And I think about stories that my mother has shared with me um, and that she couldn't go into stores, um, to some store, well, most stores when she was, uh, younger in the South. You couldn't, or if you went, they would take your money. You could shop there, but you couldn't try the clothes on because you were black. Um, that is crazy to me. But anyway, um, and as a result of that, black-owned businesses became a really big part of the community because we really depended on each other because we had no you know other recourse if we wanted to be treated decently um in which we could shop so anyway um you know i've always shopped black owned businesses but in light of all of the social you know um the racial injustice and the social injustices that took place in the wake of the death of George George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery and unfortunately the list goes on right um, everyone's you know desire to have a heightened sense of community um, you know was brought to the forefront so there's been this I almost I'm a, don't want to say a resurgence in supporting black-owned businesses, but it has been a resurgence for, for some, because some people weren't always shopping, you know, black-owned businesses. I've always tried to do that as much as I possibly could. I always have, but now there's just a sense of wanting to do it even more. Like, I have found black-owned cleaning products and... Um, you know, things, I found a great, unfortunately, the item is back ordered, but that I wanted to share with you, but I'll definitely be putting that on my Instagram. Um, I found a wonderful black owned home decor company. I mean, she has fabulous things that, you know, so now there's honestly, I'm just saying there's just no excuse to not shop black. I have made it a point that this year I am shopping black as much as I possibly can. I am um, banking black. I'm doing everything that I can to support my community, you know. So anyway, so today I thought that it would be great to highlight some of the black owned businesses, um, a few that I've been using, a few, but then some that I've found since we've been um, going through this whole, you know, year of the pandemic and the social unrest and all of that good stuff. So I'm just going to share with you a few goodies and this will be part one. I might do part two on Instagram and not do it on YouTube. I'll try to figure that out or it might. Yeah, I'll figure that out, but there will definitely be a part two because I'm hoping that the other products that I'm interested in sharing with you are, um, come you know that i get those products that have been back ordered and then i can share those with you on one platform or the other so without further ado we're going to get started so the first product um i just started using these the skincare line last month i had been um i had been looking at it and doing some research on it and things like that because I have very sensitive skin and I've always been using a skincare line and it worked for me. So I was kind of afraid to try something else, but y'all, I love this 
skincare line so much. So it's called 54 Thrones, and it's been on several lists. It made uh, one of Oprah's lists. It made Allure Magazine's list. Um, trying to think of what other accolades it's received, but it's received a few different accolades because the products are amazing. Um, the founder is based uh, here in the U.S., but she has Nigerian roots. So she wanted to get back to the origin of creating clean, authentic African products so that women could, so that black women could use those same products and rituals that our ancestors have used for centuries. So her products are very, the packaging I love, you'll find that I am a packaging junkie. It's a problem. I love good packaging. <laughs> I really do. So I love that the packaging is really, it's black and it's sleek, it's glass, um, and very clean. It has a nice clean aesthetic. But more importantly, I like what's inside. So for starters, I didn't bring it out because um, I, use, I haven't, because I didn't have it in a proper container, but the main product that I'm in love with um, is the African black soap because it's like the real deal African black soap. It, you know, is, um, you know, it's not very pretty. You know, it's the brown uh, bar with all the specks of like dark black, you know, it's, it's, you know, and it's very messy. So, and I've been using it, so I couldn't bring that out. I didn't have one already package, but I love that product. Um, I use that first to cleanse my skin, and then um, I use the um, Nourishing Face Oil. Let me just backtrack and say that, you know, I'm 52, so I'm going through menopause, so I've had a really hard time with my skin. You know, my skin has always been extremely oily and I've had acne prone skin, but now my skin is like doing some reversal crazy hormonal stuff. And now that I'm going through menopause, my skin has become um, dry in some areas, like really dry, like flaky dry. Like it's been really bad. I've only, like I said, I've only been using this product for one month, actually one month, like this week or something. And immediately, like within days, my skin instantaneously was different. And I'm not just saying that just to promote, you know, I don't get, again, none of this, you know, that I'm doing today is because I'm being paid or I'm a brand ambassador or anything like that. The, I'm, I'm talking about these products because I genuinely like these products. But when I tell you that this has totally transformed my skin, it has been amazing for my skin so i purchased the black the african black soap the polish bar which i haven't used yet because i've just been so hooked on the african black soap but i said that this week i wanted to wanted to try that um and like i said this the aja um nourishing um face oil is amazing and you would think you know at first i was hesitant because i do still have a little bit of oiliness in my skin but it's, first of all, it smells so good. It feels luxurious. Um, and like I said, it got rid of that those dark patches. I mean, I had really, I'm sorry, the dry patches. It really, really helped to improve that. So I love that. And then I have the, um, the Kahina Lava Cleansing Mask. Amazing. It just feels so, you know, you can feel like it's really deep cleansing your skin. It, it just, the quality of the product, it doesn't have like a harsh smell. I love this, you just add like a little, like a, you know, just like maybe a tablespoon of the powder with a little bit of the water and then you just apply it to your face. And I can just do that while I'm, you know, hopping in the shower or sitting in the tub and I'm trying to have a spa, you know, moment. But I love these products, love, love, love. And there are a couple of other things that she has, too, that I think now that I've tried a few, I'm definitely going to get the, a few other things. This is my new favorite. I love, 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 love. And I'm just very happy that it didn't break me out or anything like that. And speaking of breakouts, great segue. 
The next product is Hyper Clear. This is a vitamin C serum that um, is amazing. It helps remove like the dark marks and any hyper uh, pigmentation. And it really just makes your skin have more of a glow. Again, I'm just learning. I think I need to do a whole, you know, when I get my website up, do a whole thing on menopause, seriously, because it has really changed so many aspects of my body, you know, my skin, my sleep pattern. It's a lot, ladies. So anybody that knows what I'm going through, raise your hand. Whew, it's a lot. It's a lot. But anyway, I got this because I saw this on Instagram and it was getting so much, I mean, no pun intended, hype. So I said, what is this hyper clear about? I mean, people were ranting and raving about it. And I got it and I see why. Same experience that I had with the 54 Thrones. I mean, I really went for it last month. For somebody with sensitive skin, who's always like scared about whether something's gonna break them out, I took some chances here and I got both of these and I started both of them at the same time. And I have to say that these products have changed my skin drastically. Because my skin was doing something really crazy, like, you know, with the dryness and the patches. And I've always had, you know, problems with hyperpigmentation because I have tended to have acne prone skin. But when I tell you this skin, this wakes your skin up, like, you know, I'm not wearing a lot of makeup right now because of the pandemic. But I feel like when I cleanse my skin and then I put on hyper skin, um, Hyper clear rather afterwards, it's amazing. And I love the story that the founder started this product because she couldn't find anything um, that would help that really works for her uh, dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So she created it. That's what we do. You know, we come up with solutions. That's what we as black people do. We seriously, not just being, you know, you know, um, immodest, but it's true. But she said, okay, I can't find it. I'm going to create it. Great product. And I'm getting a little low. They just sent me an email. So when the show is over, I'll be placing an order for this. So if you, if you have problems with, you know, acne and then the dark skin, the dark patches and the hyper pigmentation that comes as a result of that, and your, or your skin just needs a lift. Like my skin, after, like I said, it was so dry and everything. I felt like I needed a lift. So this definitely helps. And you're gonna find, you know, sidebar that a lot of this is about skincare and beauty stuff because <laughs> I used to work in that industry if, uh, for a good little while. I worked for a number of uh, cosmetic lines that if I named them, you would know them. I did always did that part-time for, for a little bit. I did it full-time. Um, while I was in college because it was a good way to make money because the commission is really good. But I love skincare and beauty products and things like that. So that's why this is probably going to be tilted a little more towards the, you know, the beauty industry. But anywho, next up is uh, Daryl and Tyrese collection. This is a collection of body butters and, um, body scrubs this is my goddaughter's line it is a and again i'm not just saying this because it's her i'm doing this because the product is amazing she has a number of different body butters whether you want something that's all organic if you want something that's really light if you want something heavier like i do i'm extremely dry um this is the raw shea moisturizer but she has a little something for everyone if you want something that's you know scent free she has that also and i tend to like the raw shea moisturizer and then she has a newer product called simplicity that is lighter and fluffier and just oh it's amazing and they're really good really good products i just want to show you and i would have shown the simplicity too but i'm out so goddaughter i call it for a daughter um I will be reaching out to you to get some more products because I realized that this is my last jar. But this is, and this is actually great because I'm going to do a little demo because I'm a little dry right now. And I want you to see how fluffy the products are. You can see how whipped they are. And these are all handcrafted. 
Um, she's based in Oakland, California. And I love that all of her products are just things that you can pronounce. You know, geranium oil, Lang Lang, vitamin E, sweet almond oil, organic virgin shea butter. So I'm just gonna show you. Again, my product is a little thicker because I like the, the raw shea moisturizer. I like the thickness of it because I am extremely dry. So I want you to see how dry I am. And I want you to see the difference that our products make. I'm gonna go on over my arm too because my arms are a little dry. And look how my, I mean, my skin is glistening now. And that, it's not oily, it's, my skin is glistening. It's very emollient, you don't need a lot. I tend to use more than I probably need because I'm, you know, excessive like that sometimes. But it's a great product, especially right now. Um, you know, everyone's doing, well, not everyone, because some people are going to get their nails and stuff done. No judgment, but I'm just not going to anybody's nail salon until this Irona is gone. But right now, you know, now that I'm doing my own, like, pedicures and everything at home, it's amazing to use, especially on your feet. So, like, after I've pumiced my feet, and then I, you know, put my, um, uh, raw shea moisture on my feet and then I put you know my socks on and then the next day your feet feel amazing but it's wonderful all over I have used this for I tend to get um, I have psoriasis in some spots I've used it for psoriasis I've used it for if I've had like irritation or just a rash or anything like that amazing products and like I said you may not want something as heavy as I do. This is like for full, this is heavy duty, <laughs> full coverage. But if you want something lighter, she has a whipped cocoa shade that's great. Like I said, she has simplicity. She has uh, serenity, a variety of different products. So there's something for everyone and it's unisex. That's the beauty too. I've given this to my dad, my son uses it. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. So. Check her out. And again, I'm going to have everything linked in the description box so that you can patronize all of these businesses. So next up is I have been um, wanting to try Fenty Beauty. So I um, got the mat. I got the a foundation and I got a and I got a concealer. But once I got it home, it was a little, too, it was too dark for me. And um, it, it would still work, you know, like if I'm getting on a quick Zoom call or something like that with work, okay, that's fine. But, or if I'm just running out someplace and I just want some coverage, you know, as I'm going out. So I wanna give it, I'm gonna give it another try and that's something I'll probably um, blog about or something too, the results of that. But, um, I did get the primer, and this is a hydrating primer, and this is the Soft Silk Hydrating Primer because I told the young lady at uh, Sephora where I purchased it that I've been having problems with, you know, some dryness in my skin and everything, so I didn't want any, you know. So she said, well, let me, I think you should try the hydrating primer. And let me tell you, I am not disappointed. That's why I know I'm going to go back and try um, the foundation and the concealer again because I want to use every I want everything to be black on currently the foundation and the concealer that I use isn't and we know we can if we can't find it we can use, we can support a black owned makeup company I mean who knows our skin better right but I will say the one that I'm wearing is not and I really like it but I want to I'm definitely going to try the Fenty Beauty but in the interim I tried this primer and this primer is amazing so I'm using the primer with another brand and I can tell the difference in the long the the um the lo how long lasting my makeup is because I'm using this primer it's amazing and like I said it smells good the texture is nice it has like a nice you know it's a light it's very light when you put it on your skin it's very soft and velvety and it doesn't feel heavy 
which is important to me. So I'm definitely going to get, because I know a lot of people love Riri's products. So I'm definitely going to go back and try the foundation and the concealer. But I love this. I love this primer. I de like I said, I can definitely tell the difference now that I'm using it. Um, I can. So I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. So next up is an oldie but goodie for me, um, Lip Bar. Vegan lip um, sticks made, um, I think this woman, I cannot think of her name, but she actually went on uh, Shark Tank and they declined her, um, they declined the opportunity to support her business. And as a result, again, black woman, she made a way herself. She's based in Detroit. And now she has blown up. She's in Target. Now you can find her in Target. You can't even, she can't even keep the products in Target. So I just buy it directly from her site because I can never find it in Target. But I love these lip colors. I love how rich they are. I love the way they feel. Even the ones that are matte, like the one I have on today, the Playmate, they don't feel dry because my lips are also very dry. They're amazing. And I love the different shades. My favorites are, I love, um, boss lady which is the red that you've seen me wear a couple of times it's a true red it's like a blood red i love it and the other one that i like is the man eater which is like a nude a, a, a deeper nude color which is really nice like for work just for every day um but i love these i love them love them they're reasonably priced i love the packaging i love the story behind it i'm um, getting low on these so Another order I need to make today, in addition to DTC, is the lip bar. So, great products if you're looking for them. And she also has other products now. She's expanded. So, it's a whole makeup line. And I'm going to check her out, too, um, for some other um, makeup options. But I love the lip, the lip colors are amazing. And they're long-lasting. I can have this on, and it will not really budge unless i really eat something and i happen to wipe through it but for the most part it stays intact and i love the vibrancy of the colors um again it's vegan and it's and it's cruelty free so no animal testing or any of that also which is great so next up i think we got all of our beauty stuff out of the way yeah so next up i wanted to share with you this beauty here i haven't named her yet but um, you will find that I love, this thing is heavy, I love Etsy. And let me see if I can put her here. Ooh, I don't know, that'll work, I better hold her. I love Etsy and um, I moved during this here pandemic and I just decided, so I've decided to re totally redecorate my place again with the idea of being more of a, still a chic, elegant home with touches of like Afro, of African art and um, being, just having, being a little more Afrocentric than my homes have been in the past. You know, there's just definitely been a paradigm shift for me in the last year or so. So I purchased her online from Etsy and I just put it in, a, in the search bar that I wanted like an African bust. And I wasn't expecting to find much, and then I found her. Concrete um, Design Studio is the name of the company. It's a black woman. Um, she is in Canada. And when I tell you this product is solid, and she hand crafts this. I mean, the details with the hair and the features, and I mean, like, it's beautiful. I love her. I love her. We kind of look alike. I love it though. I just think that she is so elegant. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you will see where I have her placed in my home. I kind of did a little post on that this morning and got her ready for her close up. But I love it. I love her. And reasonably priced. I, I don't know how much this weighs, but I it's got to weigh about 15 no, probably more than that. Maybe like 20, upwards of 20 pounds. And 
the all together, I think it was like a hundred dollars. Like for something that's hand sculpted, you can find, I found so many things on Etsy that I just love. I probably should do a, a, a show. What do you think about that? I'm just doing a show just about like my Etsy finds, my eBay finds, because I live on eBay, Etsy, the real, real fashion file. Those are my people. So anyway, um, I just love Etsy because you know you're supporting a small company. And now that everyone is definitely shifting and trying to be more focused on um, amplifying black voice voices, you can Google and put in, I mean, not Google, but do a search for black owned businesses on Etsy. And, you know, you can find some real gems. I have found so many black owned companies. I'm like, I wish I had more money to spend because I just want to support everybody. But this is like I said, one of my favorite, I think this is one of my, I know this is one of my favorite purchases from Etsy. So if you're looking for some, you know, reasonably priced, but excellent quality, uh, bust, like from African, she only does like bust. That's it. Um, it's a great, this is a good one because a lot of busts that you find are made out of resin. Um, and it's, you know, really, and that's just plastic, but this is a solid piece. Like, I will have this forever, you know? So, I love her. I'm gonna put her back over there. Um, and speaking of Etsy, my goddaughter's product, Daryl and Tyrese collection, you can find on Etsy too. But again, I'm gonna have links for everything. I just thought I'd mention that when I said Etsy. Um, I'm gonna have links to everything for you. So, culture greetings. My goddaughter, speaking of her, turned me on to them. She sent me this card for Mother's Day, and I fell in love. Let me tell you. First of all, they have cards for every occasion you can imagine. Um, birth, I mean, all the typical things, but then they have a lot of other, you know, celebrations and stuff that are just, like, for Juneteenth, um, they have postcards that have... Um, Say, say their names or say her name or, you know, black power, like so many different themes on them. And I love that the folks look like us. Like, she looks like me. Like, she has her gray hair up in a bun. That's a look that I would definitely rock at work on a Friday with some jeans. You know, still try to have my little, you know, St. John jacket on the top and my little whatever, my pearls. I love that. And then what you can do is, on the inside, you tell them, what I love about this is that they send the cards for you. So you write, the, you tell them the message that you want inside the card. They give you so many characters and you fill it in. You give them the address and everything and they will mail the card for you. Is that not genius? Like I said, our people are everything. We're everything, we're everything, we're everything. But it's wonderful. And the other things that they, she does is that, let's say you wanted to send a, a gift card. You can add a gift card. They will insert a gift card. That's everything you need. And especially right now, when it's really hard to send people gifts and you can't do that personal touch, this is great. And you're supporting a black owned business. And she puts your, um, the, on the back is your return, your, your address is on the back. And I think it's on the envelope, too. I'm pretty certain that the... Your, yes, I'm pretty certain your return address is on the envelope, too. And I've sent these twice. So this is now my new thing, to send people cards this way. Um, and then again, too, it also saves a trip. Because, you know, I'm not going to the store like that. So this is a way that I can know I can send people their cards in a timely fashion. And I don't even have to leave the house. And if I want to insert a gift card, I can do that, too. And I went to the website today and I also saw that you can also send flowers too. Genius, genius. This is just, I just think that, you know, with this pandemic, business, the way we do business, the way we do life, everything has changed. But I think some of this stuff is just going to be the way we do things from now on. I'm not saying that we're not going to still go to the mall to go to the store and go get a car. But I'm saying once you've kind of been doing this for a while, why would you stop? Like... This is the way to go for me. So I love that. I love that. So culture greetings. I mean, and the cards are beautiful. They're nice, stocked cards. They're very colorful. The graphics are beautiful. 
And the messages are great on the outside. And I love that you can personalize it on the inside. And they do it in a really pretty font. Really pretty. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. They're great. So, my last two companies I want to feature are next up, again, founded on Etsy. And I know you're like, what is that? And I wish I should have put my hair up in a bun today so I could have put this on. But I was on Instagram and I and I saw Latoya Luckett from Destiny's Child and she had on this a black beanie with a veil on it. And I said, I need that hat in my life. I don't like to wear hats in the winter. I I, mean, I just don't. I'm not a it's so funny. I like to wear like hats, hats, like if you if I'm going like if you know, like Kentucky Derby, like a big fancy pretty hat. But I don't really like to wear winter hats because they mess your hair up and all of that or whatever. But I said, this I would wear. And I know some people may be like, what? That looks weird. But it's so chic on. I wish I didn't have all this on. But again, you can go to her. This is, this is from City of Saints on Etsy. And excellent customer service experience. Um, and I love the quality. I mean, I love that it's a, it's a skull cap, right? But then it's this big, beautiful, dramatic, because I'm extra, um, applique, and then the veil for the drama. You know, of course, I won't be rocking this until after this here, you know, Rona is gone because I'm not, a mask and the veil, that's just too much. So, because I, I bought a number of things that I won't be wearing until after everything is over. Um, but I love, 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 love this hat. It's just so unique. And I just love the create, again, the creativity of our folks. Like she took a, a, a skull cap, which is not very flattering, you know, but then she made it into something really elegant. And I love it. I love it, I love it. I'm gonna have to, um, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have to take a picture on, um, and post it on Instagram or put it in my stories or something so you guys can get the full effect of this hat. So I'll do that. So look for that. I'll make sure I pull my hair down and have it all together. But I love that. So she has all these really unique hats. And then she also has mask. I mean, because everybody's on the mask bandwagon, right? But they don't look like this. I figure if I have to wear a mask, Let's go all the way. Oops. And wear one with pearls. Why not, right? I don't have ears made for masks, by the way. So, but I love this. Love, love, love. Um, so elegant, but yet still serves its purpose. Has the, you know, um, area where you can add the, um, a filter, another, you know, another medical grade mask underneath. But I love all the pearls on it. I just think that is so elegant and so unique because most of the masks I have are black, but they don't have pearls on them. And the quality of this mask is really, really good. Like it's a thick mask. So I love that. So City of Saints on Etsy. Like I said, I was looking for that hat I said, I know somebody on Etsy has got to know what, you know, has made this hat. And I found it. So super psyched about that. And I was a fail to, remark, to um, share with you guys. I have two more uh, businesses I want to highlight. The next one is Zila and Vic, where I got this really cute. I'm not a, I'm not a sweatshirt you know, loungewear kind of person, but I've become that person since we've been in this here pandemic. So I decided if I was gonna wear something, I wanted something with a little judge. So I got this sweatshirt that zips and it kind of does an over the shoulder kind of deal here, which I love. Just a basic black shirt, right? But then more me, I got this really cute jacket with the feathers on it with a belt to tie, really cute. The young lady in the little, you know, 
on the pictures had it on as a dress, but mama will not be wearing it as a dress. I will be wearing it as a jacket. But I thought that was so cute to wear when the world opens back up. I'm going to a concert or something with some jeans or what have you. I just thought that was really cute. Then I also got, uh oh, the sweater that you saw me wear in the first show. I love the details on it and everything is very reasonably, oops, that's what I get. I should have picked it up. Reasonably priced too, which is great, but I love how unique it is. I love the sleeves. I love the drama of all of that. So, yeah, so that's that. And last but not least, and we have a moment of silence for these shoes. Amen. Yes. Kiari. I'm trying to think of her. I, don't, I think I stumbled upon her shoes on Instagram also. These shoes are stunning. They're handcrafted in Italy. She... They have a... So they have a, a regular gold stiletto heel, heel right? But then they have like this beautiful uh, wrap around like ribbon design. And she said the inspiration was a building in Japan, I believe, that she uses her inspiration. I mean, just stunning. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. When the world opens back up again, I'll be able to wear them. But they're stunning. They're not, um, they're not uncomfortable. Now, I did try to wear them on my birthday last month, but I hadn't worn heels in a year, and I'm a heels girl, clearly. And I could only wear them for a few hours. That wasn't because of the shoes themselves, because when I first tried them on, they were, that I walked around on them, they were fine. That's just because I haven't worn heels in a while. But they were, they're comfortable, they're very well made. And I figured, too, they're an investment. Um, I'll let you go to the website and see how much they are, but they are an investment, but they're worth it. And I figured too, you could always use a, a black pump, right? But a black pump with a twist, you can't go wrong with. I mean, I will always have these shoes. And even in, you know, in my old age, when I can't wear them, they will become pieces of art. Because they're, they're stunning. They're gorgeous. But I wanted to share, not only are the products, I mean, is the shoe like beautiful, but I'm, again, I'm a sucker for packaging. But it's an experience. I have bought, um, high-end shoes before from other designers that shall not be named today because we're not talking about them. And the packaging for Chiari rivals the packaging that I've received, that I've had in other shoes. First of all, it's a nice sturdy box with her beautiful logo on it. Inside, it's like rose gold, like a rose gold foil under, inside the box. So it's an experience you know, when you open it up. And I feel like right now, you just need whatever it takes to make you happy in these times because there's only so much we can do. Eat, sleep, work, you know, repeat. And we're doing all of that at home, right? So if I purchase something, I want them. I mean, I've always wanted the packaging to be pretty, but I really want it now to really be like an experience because we ain't got nothing else, seriously. So anyway, I digress. When you open it up, it's this beautiful thank you note on this beautiful vellum paper with her logo on it. Really nice, really nice personal touch. It's another like postcard with other designs on it with smart. Then it has this beautiful dust, satin dust bag. I mean, stunning, stunning, just gorgeous. So that whenever, again, this here, Panasonic is over <laughs> when it's time to travel again. I will, you know, it's a nice bag that you can, you know, place, put them in. And then I love how she even has, the branding is on point. My girl did the branding up, brava uh, on that. But then it even has, you know, the K from the Chiari from her, part of her logo, all on the tissue paper. I mean, First class, all the way, like, yeah. It's an experience. 
just un when I unboxed everything, it was an experience just to have everything in there packaged ever so nicely. A lot of time and thought was put into that, you know? She figures, hey, you're making this investment and you're spending quite a bit of money on my shoes. I want you to feel how luxurious everything is from before you, before you even open the shoes and try them on and all of that. So that's everything that I have for today's show for our first um, Black History spotlight on black owned businesses so like i said we're going to do a part two i'll figure out like what platform i'm going to do it on if that's going to be on ig or here stay tuned but have lots of other little things up my sleeve as we're celebrating black history month so if you haven't definitely think about ways that you can support our community more now more than ever Small businesses, which is usually what most of our businesses are, need our support. They need our support. So definitely think about ways that you can support so we can support each other. So that's all I have for you today, everybody. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And also follow me on IG at fabuleux underscore living. Same on Pinterest. Blessings.